Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the fall festival dates for the year 2022. Yeah, there is still yet a little confusion as we had two back-to-back 30-day lunations. And so there was a lot of people, myself included, predicted the new moon would be sighted too early. But as it turns out, the moon was actually sighted on the 27th. So many of us need to update our schedules for the new dates. Now, I don't plan on making this video too long, but let me show you coming from the book of Enoch, how it is necessary to actually see the sliver of the new moon before we can declare a new month has started. We see that down in verse 72, verse five, that at the time it appears, it becomes the new month. This is why so many people go out to verify the sighting of the new moon is actually necessary to sight the new moon before the new month can start. And for those of us who don't actually get a chance to see it, we do have websites where people have reported the sighting from around the world. Yeah, this is a very big deal. And over here at renewedmoon.com, we can see that the sighting was confirmed on Tuesday evening, September the 27th. And then over here at moonsightings.com, we see the reports for the 26th and all of the people who went out to see the new moon, but actually saw nothing with the exception of the United States where people used binoculars in order to see it. That doesn't count. It has to be sighted with the naked eye. But then on the 27th, you see all of the people around the world reported having seen the new moon. So looking back at our calendar with the sighting of the new moon on the 27th, making September the 28th the first day of the month, you see that we'll be in 10 days of awe until the Day of Atonement, which will start on the evening of October the 6th and will end the evening of October the 7th. And for you guys who are new to the sacred calendar, Leviticus 23 sure says the 10th day of the seventh month. And some got confused that it's actually fallen on the seventh day of the 10th month. Well, I think that's just an example of how much work our father is doing to get our attention in these times. But anyway, October the 6th will be the beginning at sunset of the day of atonement. And then October the 11th will be the beginning of the week-long Feast of Tabernacles. These dates here, Tishri 14, correspond to the sacred month date. And the Feast of Tabernacles always starts on the 15th. But we find it necessary to overlay the Gregorian calendar dates on the sacred calendar dates because of people's work schedule. And what we find is that on October the 11th at sunset will be the beginning of the festival we know as Tabernacles. And it will last until the evening of October the 18th, followed by what's known as the great eighth day of the festival. That would actually be October the 19th in the year 2022. So look for a link popping up that tells what we ought to do about these days, what we have to do on these days. And if you have any more questions, please put them in the comment section and I'll see you there. Hey, uh, Coach of Fight here, and the sun just went down where I'm at in 2022, September 27th. All right, so we're about here. And let's see what we'll see. We are looking, are we looking at clear skies, guys? Yeah. Guys, we're not supposed to be taking pictures of the, of the moon. We believe you. If you see the new moon, we believe you. You ain't got to take a picture. You don't, don't take a picture of it. Break second commandment. I think looking at them is kind of bad, too. But you don't want to be taking them. All right, so we... Ha, ha, ha. All right, line me up. I think I see it. Line me up. With the tree, you gotta put my head right over the tree. You gotta be right over the tree. That's why you out here. I don't see it yet. You say it's right over the tree. Top of the yeah. How far up? 
Um, top of the pine tree. The top of the pine tree. Let me get down here where you at. I thought I saw it a few. Whoa! That tiny? Yeah, see, that's proof that the that moon was not there yesterday. That you cannot see it tonight. You need binoculars. At least I do. My, I ain't got the best eyes out here. Y'all can see it good? Oh, Everybody can I see it? I lost it at one time, but yeah, I can see it. <laughs> and just as a note, Anybody up there seeing this moon tonight, they know it is no way they saw it last night. Zero percent. Nothing. There was nothing to see there, was it? Mm -mm. You wasn't seeing that moon last night. It's just too small. It looks like less than one percent. But it's there. <laughs> debate whether the moon was up there yesterday it was smaller yesterday you think anybody saw it mm, no uh, not at all no probably not it's kind of bright though now that you got your eyes set mm. on it it ain't the brightness of it mm -hmm. or oh, the brightness only matters how dark it is the more the sun goes down the bright it's gonna be it's gonna get real bright here in a minute oh, okay it's the size of it that we're talking about the size Mm. It's at, right okay. now it's supposed to be at about 4%. Yesterday it was supposed to be at about 1%. Mm -mm. Probably not. I don't know. Unless they got some really good eyes. I got bad eyes. I don't know. I can't say. They might have some young eyes. And then would it have even been out by the time the sun was down? Yeah, that's the other point. The, it went down in twilight. The same time, the same brightness that we got out here now. It was actually over those trees and dropping. So imagine it being half as small and down there where that light at. See the mm. light between the trees? Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it fell at twilight. So you have to take it down there where them trees at, at that light that's over there. Put it in the light mm -hmm. and make it at least half as small. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. 
He's kind of, he's kind of pushing it. Well, we see it, y'all. They are declaring it over in Jerusalem. They're making announcements all over the world. Everybody's been anticipating this day. Uh, we praise our Father for those of us who hung out until this day. I understand why it is now. Man has his way of determining our Father's days. And when you think about it, those who celebrated earlier and are not going to recant and change their schedules and you know start to celebrate on the correct day on atonement day going forward those that are not going to readjust their calendars to the correct atonement day this year are those who have decided that they are going to set our father's time and he's not and then they don't really you know care if it's on his time or not but the rest of us the ones who are truly following the calendar truly being obedient we all out here looking at the moon are we waiting at back at the house for somebody to come and tell us that they saw the moon so we can be on the correct day and it is this day they if people been looking for the moon on the 25th that was zero percent moon day it says jewish day on the 25th and then on the 26th they started looking for it because that's when i thought it was going to be up there but i was wrong too but here it is today on the 27th and we are looking at that moon up in the sky declaring that we are in the turn of the year we are at the Feast of uh, Trumpets, the memorial blowing the trumpets. We are on the Day of Remembrance. We are on Zikaron Day. Father, bless you and keep you, and may he shine his face upon you. May he lift it up his countenance unto you and give you peace. Hello.